Head on down to your local factory dealer. The Forza-thon is on. I got this stack of bills and nothing to spend them on. Well, what do you got for me? Well, the Forza-thon unfortunately is coming soon, so I don't got I don't got nothing except for prize crates. I was hoping that you could put me in a brand new prize crate. I, I think you would look great in a mixed crate elite. What kind of so what, what kind of deal do you think you could work out for? I could maybe get you a mixed crate elite for let's say. 150,000 credits. Ooh, I don't know. That's, I don't know if My I, manager will fire me if I go any lower. I don't have that much scratch. Okay, well, all right. I, how about I do a deal? Normally, these are, are a little crazier, but a large mystery crate that's a chance for super rare items might be cars. Oh, I don't know. I have to that's see, the same 150,000 credits. See if my paycheck is cleared this week. Oh, it'll definitely clear. Your credit's good with us. <laughs> this is fine. These crates are intense. Numerous crates. Those are like lock boxes. They're Yeah. They're like armored. Uh, how could you say no to this tremendous offer? This is Forza Motorsport 7, oh. Brad. Uh -huh. uh, we're running this on a personal computer, running Windows 10. Oh, the PC. Yes. Uh, and uh, let's let me just get in here and do some driving. We can talk about the prize grade stuff later. Um, let's see here. So the, the progression of the game. Uh, before we get into actual driving here, let's see. Um, we've got cars. Okay. We've got a collection. Uh, 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 we've got a car collection here. Got it. Um, and I've got this uh, '69 Nova. For of course. Example. Uh, I've got this Hyundai. Wait, how, what? How, how do you say that? Hyundai. Vol Vol no, no. Veloster. Veloster. Yeah. Is that a real? Yeah, that's a real model car. of car. Yeah. Okay. I got this I'll ATV, which is not super fun to drive. I thought it might be a fun change of pace. It, I was wrong. Uh, do they do semis in this one. Yeah, there's some truck racing. Um, those might be... They might have made those rare just because... But maybe not. I don't know. I raced a truck earlier. Uh, there's also like a limo. There's a lot of cars in this game. That, that is a lot of cars. I can confirm. But you can't... That's a lot. You, you can't just save up and buy most of them. Why uh, can't I buy this car right now? Every car belongs to a collection tier. You start a collection tier 1 and work your way up to tier 5. To unlock it here, you will need to buy cars. So before they'll even let you buy one of these Ferraris here, you got to buy a lot of BMWs and Formula E cars and and this '69 Nova. Is it just Jeep? Is it just a raw number of cars, or do they have a point value? They have a point to value. Them? In the upper right here, it says you know. So if I get this Jeep, it's 80 points. Okay. On the left side, uh, you see. Well, I'd, that's. Oh, okay. All right. That's it's okay. I, I was worried there because it said cars owned four, and I was like, wait. Uh, I own more than that. Is this a weird save? Anyway, so I'm on tier three um, because when you get the expensive version of the game, it comes with these Fast and the Furious cars and these Hoonigan branded cars that all add to your number, so you can kind of jump start the process. Uh, so you know, like it won't take too long to get up to tier five from the looks of things if you're just focused on buying cars. But it's still kind of frustrating, like if you really liked a car that was. You know, over here or something, you wouldn't be able to get it for a while. If you you, want the, you're kind of forced. If you want that Lambo. Yeah, you're you're kind of forced into some of this stuff up here. You might uh, have to drive a Sylvia for a while. Exactly. First. Yeah, uh, and that's I don't know. I don't I don't think that's fun. Or a Nissan Juke. Yeah, that's uh, not a real car. It is. Yeah, no, Nissan Juke's a real uh, car. I, I believe it. Um, so yeah, uh, I Wait. I think the progression in in the game is a Wait, little. I just saw auction house. Uh, yeah, yeah, they've had an auction house for a while. Okay. Uh, you know, it's a little less meaningful than it used to be, I think, because it used to be like the car would come with a design on it, and so like if you wanted to bid on the rare like Pringles car that someone made, God. Uh, that one, which was my always my favorite, uh, then that might be expensive because it's a sick design. And now designs are kind of removed from that. When you buy a car, it just surfaces a bunch of user-made designs. And you can kind of pick one, and it's it's they're they're not, which is probably better because you get to ultimately kind of get on a uh, get in on a design that you like uh, and that sort of stuff. So let's see here, what do we got here? Uh, we're looking for our next series. So I, I, uh, he, I, I did you see limo bowling? Yeah, we can that out. We there. could do limo. We could do eh, limo you could probably drive a real. Yeah. Uh, so these are, these are the events in the in the secret championship, the first uh, the first tier of of events here. And, uh, you know, you complete a handful of these. I'm very close to unlocking the second one here. Uh, but why don't we do the Seeker Open? It's an open racing. You can choose any car you want. All right, good. I have any car. Open racing. You can choose any car you want. I don't want to drive this thing that's ever not, that, again. That's not even a car. 
Uh, it's an ATV. Yeah, it's, it's got four wheels. Yeah. Not a bad way to spend an afternoon. That's a car. Uh, this is a car. And what a car. Here's another car. Yeah. Wait, why is it? Sort by division. Hoomigan modern hot hatch. I know this is not how I want to see my cars. Classic street muscle. I, I don't like, I don't like the division stuff here. This is, this is the first time I've been in an event where I can kind of just choose whatever car I want and I'm not. I don't like, I don't. I don't like this one. Also, why is it going so... Okay, wait. Modern off-roaders. Wait okay. a minute. That car said Goku. Oh, yeah. because like, like I said, you should drive. No, I've already driven that car a bunch. Oh. It's, it's, I put the Goku design on the side of this <laughs> Veloster. All right. Um, Oh man. Okay. I'm what is what is the what's the issue? Like these these divisions at the top. Yeah. Well, it makes sense for like arbitrary? oh here are the Fast and the Furious cars. Here's yeah. the the Forza Group Rally, which this was one that was another pre-order bonus or, or expensive edition bonus or something like that. They've always used terms like hot hatch and all this other stuff, but I I just this is I would rather. Okay. There we go. Sort filter. There. Here we go. Sort by manufacturer. Aha. That seems useful. You, you can also filter by class. Okay, so they've got this stuff in. Oh wait, I didn't apply filters. There we go. All right, this is a little more sensible now. I just I don't always know what a modern hot hatch is, other than that it sounds. Filthy. What is a hot hatch? Like a hatchback. Okay. What's a, a, what makes it hot though? It's hot. It goes fast. <clears throat> uh, I'm probably just gonna buy a car. All right. I got some cars here, but I, I don't know. Again, sorted by division. Recommended cars. <laughs> this is a. Uh, so I mean, th th this is probably a real race car. Ah. Uh, which is why I would have this this, this stuff on it. An actual sponsorship uh, thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or something resembling a real race car. Uh, what we got in terms of street muscle here. They, you know, a wide variety of manufacturers are represented. It's not. I, I, like I said on the podcast this week, I really miss Toyota. I feel, feel their absence. I feel their absence for sure. Uh, it's a Toyota-sized shaped hole. Yeah. In Force 7. Um, early sport touring. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, touring car always sounded really fancy to me. Yeah. I don't but then you look at these and you're like, that doesn't look so fancy. It's an M3. It's look, three. That, that's, that, eh. looks like, that looks like a family car. Yeah. Which don't get me wrong, like I think there are some cars of this era that are that are a-okay. Uh, these early '90s, some of this stuff though, just not my thing. So you know, some of this stuff I'm not even gonna be able to buy. Uh, it's got like a like a '92 Ford Taurus wagon in here. Uh, That's what I learned to drive on. Let's see. Over to the Ford section here. I'm gonna say probably not. But yeah, I no. would not be shocked because uh, they, you know, there are so many cars in here. Yeah, uh, there's hundreds from um, so many different eras. And uh, got this 2017 Ford Focus. Five Cobra. What is a Shelby? Is that is that a model? Shelby is a company uh, okay. that, that further modifies. The ah, that makes it because I was I was then going to ask how, what is exactly is a Shelby Cobra? Yeah, is a Cobra modified by Shelby? Yeah, I, yes, I see. Ninety-two. Okay, this is an elite <laughs> car. That gets Thirty percent um, additional credits and five thousand plus five thousand XP at night. And it's got all those lights on it. Should I buy this? Uh, probably. All right. Probably. Should we look at the rest of the fort? No, I'm just going to get this one. Yeah. Could be a bunch of night racing. All right. Uh, so, yeah, it'll pop up a bunch of uh, designs. You know, it's got, uh, you know, it'll, it'll prompt you to like a design if you use it, which then, in theory, leads to more of these designs floating to the surface and stuff like that. Uh, are they are they still bringing these over from previous Forza games? Uh, a lot of these are, I mean, user-made, but I, I don't believe so. I remember um, one was around, like, four or five or something. They... Made a big deal about how those carried forward. Yeah, I, I don't know uh, for sure what, what carries forward. <laughs> that car said PlayStation. That car does say PlayStation on the <laughs> side. Um, yeah, that's silly. 
All right, uh, I don't know that I like any of these, mm. so we're just gonna go to colors. And let's just, we're, you know what? Done. <laughs> it's purple-ish. Wait, your collector score will not increase because you've already collected this car. Do you wanna buy this car and apply it to, wait, if I already have this car, then why did it even? Oh. Why are you having to buy it again? Oh, well, you can, in theory, in theory, what if you tuned the two cars differently or had oh. different paint jobs? Like, they do let you buy multiple versions of the same car. Oh, you can't just, like, spawn more cars? Is this an elite version of oh. that car, and that's why it gets this credit bonus? Like, should I... I don't... Okay. Oh. 81 Ford Fiesta. Yep, that's the one. That's This, is, this has got me all over it. Oh, but there's some good designs for this. The game is just officially out today, but yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Might go with that Ghostbusters design. Can you make these external to the game yet? Is there any kind of... No, I don't I don't think so. You still have to do I all the stuff to... with a controller? Yeah. What is this one? I want to get a closer look at this one. Mm. Huh. Huh. Do you like anime? Love it. Uh, so yeah, it seems like in this game you're buying the car as well as the ability to upgrade it however you like. Like in previous games over the years they've made it so you buy the individual upgrades and all this sort of stuff. This seems more like once you got the car you can kind of do what you want to it. Um, I mean, it's your car. Exactly. I would, I would hope so. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Since this is an open thing, we should be able to just... Uh, upgrade. Will this just... Okay, well, I'm optimized for this division, but I want to go, I want to step it up. Oh, look at those graphs. Yeah. Look at that car data. Oh, but it still makes me buy upgrades. Well, what does it say? Like I said, do you want to buy all the cars and the upgrades for this amount of money in some of the previous... This is... I feel like this game is is has gotten kind of confusing mm -hmm. with some of this stuff, honestly. And the... Like in a way that it was not before. It, well, it was it was always deep, right? Because you could always yeah. like upgrade the individual parts and all the sort of stuff. But like, it used to be uh, in in previous games, it's been like, oh, you know what? Whatever your car is, we'll find a race for you. You know, like, oh, you come in here with it and you've take you've pumped this car up to A class. Okay, you'll race against A class, and, and it's fine. You'll Just, you'll still make progress. It's fine. Here's all the stuff you can do with the car you. Yeah, want. and and this seems more like. This this game feels more restrictive, both in like the, the like the car collection stuff. What I can and can't drive is frustrating, uh, and and a lot of it seems to be built around this mod stuff, like the prize crate and mod things, where you can kind of quick equip mods. And it's like, well, what is what is this even doing? Wait, how come I want to push down to okay mods? Wait, why did that go? Oh my god. <laughs> Just uh, quick equip mods and put in different ones this time. I don't know. So mods can be like uh, challenges for you to complete uh, to unlock uh, to gain more credits and stuff like that. That's a good looking wet pavement. Yeah, uh, this is a fantastic looking game. Like wow, Carnage. He's yeah, here. It, it pulls in it's people him. from your friends list yeah, and. Whether they've played the game or, or not. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, those are just names at this point, right? Yeah. Like, there's not even any actual Gravatar data there. Uh, there could be. Uh, you okay. know, they might be pulling it from previous games. They oh, might, sure. You know, there's there's all sorts of potential for... And, and the game is has been available since Friday uh, for people that paid for the expensive version. Whoa. Um, what is this, dash cam? Uh, I guess I mean, it's or, like or, bumper. Or bumper cam is yeah. what I meant. I'm sorry. Not dash. Uh, what's your preferred cam? The the, the bumper that that, really? that first person one. Really for this game, like normally I'm a third person driver. Yeah, me too. Uh, but uh, this game with the line, the racing line and stuff like that, like usually I want to I want to be able to to see stuff a little bit better. It's so low. Um, what else I got? Okay. 
And this is a version that omits the steering wheel in yeah. case you have a racing wheel of your own. And you want to pretend you're in the car. Uh, you can rewind your way out of mistakes, like the sort of mistakes I would make while trying to drive from a cockpit view <laughs> in the rain. Look, let's just go go with it. The game's not so hard that I can't make this up. Um, yeah, and you know, you race. Uh, you can set the drive tire difficulty up and down, and, and, <laughs> and then you race, and then you race, uh, and yeah. and you know, it's it's a lot like uh, the previous Forza games. In yeah. A lot of ways. The, yeah. The things they've been talking up have been like these weather effects and, and this sort of stuff. I, I I do think that stuff looks they're, fantastic. Yeah, they're not wrong too. Like it's yeah, it's quite effective. Um, and the uh, looks good. and the handling I, I think is is appropriate for the weather too. Like it it, it feels nice. I feel like Forza is still the only game, the only franchise that makes good use of these rumble triggers on the Xbox One controller. Mm, yeah. Um, like you really just feel the road. Uh, like, in, in like a gameplay relevant yes, way. Yes, right? yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, at the same time, I, I'm not having a great time with this game. Mm. For, for as much as I think it's like, I think this is a tremendous looking video game. I think it, has, you know, it's, it's got tons of cars, and I'm sure the driving itself is fun. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it, it's you know, it's world class, right? I mean, they've been making this game for a long time. They, I, to me, I think they nailed it around four to three. That's where they, they got in the right mix of, hey, this is a serious game, but also we've got a level of assistance in here, so anyone can feel good about playing this. Right. And they struck a really great balance. Uh, and over the years, they've just kind of remixed that balance and, and found new ways to try to build a career. But it, you know, in a lot of ways, it feels like zero sum. Yeah. Uh, of like they're you know change for change's sake in some cases and, and and that sort of stuff. And this year, I'm feeling that way more than than most other years, where I feel like the way they've structured the progression with the locking up cars and and behind the collection tier stuff and, and the way that they've built these events and the order that these events unlock in and stuff, I, I'm. I'm finding this game to feel very restrictive mm. in a way that makes you kind of engage with the economy a little bit more because it's in your best interest to buy a lot of cars. So you take that in conjunction with the increased reliance on those random crates and you've got a recipe for... Disaster is a little strong of a word, but uh, I'm, I'm really... This game feels like it was designed around you buying blind boxes. It's, yeah, it's in their best interest for you to buy a lot of those. Well, as of right now, uh, you can spend $100 on this game buying the season pass for cars and, and the, the expanded edition of the game. That's including the $60 yeah, yeah, yeah. base game? Okay. Yeah, uh, there is a $60 version of the game uh, also available, of right. course. Uh, and there's no way to currently spend any more money than that. There's, there are no microtransactions in the game uh, for real money. But they are coming. They have, they have said that they will sell tokens, which they've done in the past. Uh, and I don't know how those will manifest when united with this, uh, with this crate system. If it will be tokens for cars, which is the, they, in the past they've sold car tokens. And you're just like, buy a token, unlock any car you want kind of thing. Or, or hey, some of these cars might be two tokens. I, I don't know. Uh, but they, they've done it that way in the past where it's been like, okay, well... Like, I don't want to engage with this because I, I don't think that's worth it, but that's not so bad. But when I look at the, the system they've built and, and how they want you to unlock cars and all that other stuff, suddenly owning a lot of cars becomes more meaningful to the overall progression of the game. Right. Uh, it's not, it's not, it sounds like it's not the, the mere presence of microtransactions that may be the problem exactly. so, so much exactly. as that they, they rebuilt the underlying system yeah, and, in, a, in and a way that makes you feel like you need them. If, if they never added real money transactions to this game at all, uh, I would still think it has problems. Right, right. Like, like in, in terms of how the progression works and stuff like that. Like I think that it's, it's just, I think it's ill-conceived, I think it's a step backwards. I, I think that they, they have made some miscalculations about how they've built it this time around. Or some very smart ones based on, hey, let's try to make more money. I, I don't, because I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You know? Like it's hard to say. Uh, until the other shoe drops on the microtransaction front, uh, it, it's hard to really know where that stuff goes. Do you remember how long it took him after six came out? Uh, I want to say it was like a month weeks? or okay. something. You know, like I, I, I don't know for sure because I, you know, uh, 
you review the game and then move on, right? Oh, so, sure. <laughs> so you review the game before they put the, the paid stuff in it, and then they add the paid stuff after everyone's already said their critical piece about the game. Yeah, I feel like they only get away with that once, though. Uh, they've it's been getting away with it for multiple years. Well, I guess, but I mean, at least, at least now you know it's coming and can factor that in to yeah. some degree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and they have been out front uh, with this one saying, hey, we are going to put stuff in. Um, so you see here, these are the mods I have equipped here in the corner, uh, and they are limited use items. They're all consumables. Uh, so that's a case where like, oh, because I used ABS on, I get 30% additional credits. I've got two good passes in that race, so I got 30% more credits. I finished 25 meters ahead, I think I did. Uh, so I'll, I'll get credits for that as well. Uh, you gain XP for racing. When you fill that meter on the left, you get to pick one of those three rewards. And the rewards aren't even, like the rewards used to be, hey, here's a car. Now it's, here's a discount on a car. In this specific case, the discount makes it zero, but I have seen ad additional ones that have been, hey, just pay less for the car. And I, I, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like, I don't like that stuff at all. It, it, it feels like it's forcing me to think more about this stuff that is, secondary at best, if not tertiary, to like the thing you want to do in a Forza game. Right. I don't want to equip mods. You know, they've got a, an announcer that'll come up and say, hey, why don't you try equip equipping some mods? You know, and, and it just sucks to have it push you in this direction. Like, it, it cheapens the experience. Um, Wait, can you? Oh, oh sorry. Should just button pass Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to get you here that mod list for a second. All right. Let's do another race here. Some more, some more weather. Some good trackside stuff. Like I think the, the oh. texture. The, should we do our due diligence? Oh, should we uh, stop and that's, try to get a look at some people ooh, that's here? A, that one's pretty far. I don't know. Is there a photo mode? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Can you detach and fly around? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. How do I <laughs> zoom here? I can fly wherever, but I need to. That goes up and down. I wonder if they consider that out of balance, so you just can't. Well, I should still be able to at least like zoom the lens in. Yeah, I would you think. think. That's my sweet picture. Unless they know, um, unless they specifically accounted uh, yeah, for no, this. Uh, uh, focus, X mode. Okay, so we can turn all that stuff on, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Damn it! Type button out of the. Um. Doing the important work here. Yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's D-pad to zoom. Ha! Wait. Wait a minute. Back up. Just a tear. A tad. A pan to your right. Wait a minute. Twins love love cars. Hang on. Go right even more. What? There's there's two of him and. So two of her. It's just like a it's like a double mid commercial. Yeah. Look at those outhouses though. Those are pretty good outhouses. Yeah. I think that, that lady looks... with the crossed arms maybe doesn't think so though. Yeah. She's like outhouses never. <laughs> uh, I think in motion <laughs> they look. Oh totally yeah. Fine. We're, we are being dumb and um, facetious here. Yeah. Like, uh, the crowd is fun. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, like, I, I think that that's stuff that impacts every single person who plays the game. Uh, the, the mod stuff, the way it's built, the way the progression is built, the way it kind of forces you into these lesser cars. Because, you know, like, everyone's going to come at Forza. Like, there's so many cars. There's so much to motorsports. And there's so much of it is represented here that you, you know, different players are going to come in wanting different things. And being forced into this progression that is like, here, drive a bunch of trash. Uh, might not be for everyone. Well, specifically, like spend the current. Like, I, was, I was about to say money, but spend currency on trash, right? Yeah, like, yeah. You have to like, like level up by buying like, ch these like, cheap dumb cars you that have you to buy don't cars. really want to drive, or, or you know maybe you do. Some people will. Um, I mean, that's you know I I like these kind of regular production cars. That's so the thing I like about Forza is tricking out regular car. I guess the, I guess the biggest question is does each tier of car have a healthy mix of different types of cars in it or is each tier like themed in a certain way? It's not necessarily themed, but you de you know as as you go up you're going to find faster cars okay. and stuff like that. So if you're looking for like <clears throat> race cars and stuff like that and you didn't buy the expensive version of the game that comes with some of those unlocked off the bat, like 
mean, uh, you know, that's, that sounds less that, than ideal. That sounds telling to me that you can pay more and get more cars right away. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, and I'm getting jostled. It's almost as if I smashed into a bunch of these cars and they're not having it anymore. Shh. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that that's stuff that impacts every person who plays this game uh, in, in, a, in what seems to be a, a negative way. I think it, it is... It, is, it feels less free, it feels less open than these games have in the past. Um, my other problem with the game is maybe a little more personal, and that's like, you know, my, my personal interest in racing games and stuff like that. Like, I, I first, the first Forza game I really enjoyed was 3, and, and that was a game where I feel like they, they mastered the balance, like I said, between something that was accessible to people who didn't want to go off the deep end while still offering... Still providing a deep end. Still providing a deep end, exactly. Um, you know, I wanted Pringles cars and, and racing lines and assists and stuff like that. Not all the way. You know, and I don't want to make it dumb easy. You can you can, you can make this game a lot easier than even I've got it set here. Yeah, what, this is a pretty medium uh, thing. What you were describing on the podcast this week sounds like you can almost make this game play itself. Kind of. I mean, yeah, like the assisted driving and braking and stuff like that is like... It's extreme. Uh, <laughs> you know, it doesn't quite drive for you, but it'll yeah. really, it'll help. Um, and that's fine. I, you know, like, whatever. If it, if it makes the game more accessible to a wider range of people, that's smart. Yeah. Uh, and you can still turn all that shit off if you don't like it. My problem is that I've played every Forza Motorsport since at least three. I, I mean, I've played some of one and two, but, but didn't really enjoy them at that point uh, very much. And, you know... Uh, They've got a lot of real tracks in this game, and and they've had a lot of great tracks for years and stuff, uh, real tracks, and they have a lot of those same real tracks. There's and only I've, there's only so many speedways in the world. Yeah, uh, yeah, and and so I'm as, as someone who doesn't really care too much about real life motorsports, uh, but would really appreciate a, a great uh, driving video game. I have driven on a lot of these tracks before, and I'm done with them. Uh, I, I don't necessarily... I don't even know their names most of the time. So I, just, I, I don't have a deep care for real-life motorsports. Uh, and, and so... I'm racing on these, you know, going through these four race series and, and moving on to the next one, all this other stuff, and it's just like, yep, I remember this track from nine other racing games <laughs> I've played. Yeah. Some of them aren't even Forza games, you right. know, like Gran Turismo's had some of the same tracks in some cases, and, yeah. uh, you know, Project Cars, I think, has some of the, the same stuff as well, and and so I've, re I've hit a, a level of extreme fatigue when it comes to a lot of these real-life race tracks. And uh, they've made fancy tracks in the past, and you know I I should I, I need to look it up and see. I assume that there are new tracks in this game. I think they brought back an old, an old fancy track favorite from the old days, uh, in this one uh, that hadn't appeared for a while. Can I assume that their definition of fantasy track is just it's not like, a real thing. It's it's right. not it's not but, Rainbow Road. It's but not. Still, a, yeah, still yeah. still very it still real. is rooted in reality. still real. Okay, yeah. Nothing, nothing too fanciful. The goofiest they get is, you know, some of their some of their multiplayer modes, you know, cat and mouse or whatever they've got, uh, or uh, you know, this bowling thing. When they, when they when they went out and licensed like the Top Gear name, just ahead of Top Gear imploding. <laughs> um, Thanks, Jeremy Clark. Guy uh, wanted a steak. Yeah, I guess so. He wasn't gonna let some fucking two-bit producer mouth off to him about it. <laughs> That's right. Talent's gotta stick together. We're <laughs> Firmly on the side. No, fuck that guy. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. So they still, they're like that that limo bowling thing has the Top Gear name on it still. Huh. Oh, that's that's uh, that's one of their things. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm not super familiar with their show. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, it's it's a lot of the same tracks, and it, it's hard for me to get excited about it. When, yeah, I, I don't when know. I've done a lot of these these same races and, and sometimes in some of the same cars. Yeah, I, I, of cars. I totally get it. Like, I, I don't know what you do about that because yeah. obviously there's a big segment of their audience exactly that, like, revolt if they start coming up with a bunch of weird like sci-fi tracks. Or it's something, imp it's impossible to please everyone. Yeah, uh, I'm so I'm I'm kind of saying like th that's where I right come out on this is is I am bored with their representations of these real life tracks because they've they've done it well for years. Uh, but I've played 
probably hundreds of hours of Forza, and I need more. Uh, I need I need uh, more variety, I, or I need, I need I need more new stuff than they're offering. Maybe you need to look to the horizon. The Forza Horizon? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if they'll even do anything super crazy with the next Horizon, or if that's just going to be. I like, think they need to. I, I think three. Yeah, yeah. You know, the the Hot Wheels stuff proves that there's. Yes. Uh, yes, that was kind of inspiring to yeah. see that. There's 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 room for them to do some some fantastical yeah, stuff and, yeah. and do it really well. I, I don't know that just like another exotic locale exactly. is going to do it. Yeah, I, I think it has to be more than that. <laughs> another uh, another rave out in the desert. Yeah. Uh, because in 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 part because uh, the structure of those games have, has been relatively similar. Over the over the three Horizon games, yeah. where the showcase races are just kind of these, you know, uh, uh, gussied up time trials that, that are not not so great. Um, especially three games in, like the first time it was novel, and then you saw the trick, and you're like, oh, I see what you're doing here. Yeah. And by the third one, it was like, all right, yeah, it's a train, whatever, or it's a plane. I don't know what I'm what am I even racing against? It doesn't matter. It's a clock. Ultimately, it's a fake clock. Um, what was the uh, what, what was the split on the early Forza games? Was it one and two on the original Xbox, yeah. and then three was the first 360? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I, I think it's you know it's it's maybe also somewhat telling that like one of the new things they kind of put on the main screen here is like, what does your driver look like? But yeah. You, was, but all you do you unlock these new things. Yeah. And some of these came from DLC from the, the day one packs and and being a VIP and all that sort of stuff. Um, a lot of these come out of the crates, and you don't really see them while you're racing. Whoa! I, uh, hmm. Yeah, you know they. That's weird. You know they they get a little goofy here in some fun ways. As, as like, but you'll never see it outside of the menus. Yeah, I was gonna say as like stayed as as a lot of the game is. This is, and there's a lot of these fucking a little bit bizarre. If I don't get to the bottom of this list and see Master Chief, they uh, fucked up. Yeah, what are we even doing here? They fucked up. No, it's in, it's in alphabetical order. So oh, we let's. Uh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's in alphabetical uh, order except for the the countries, I guess. So it's three different sets of alphabetical order. Mm. So these are for these are track manufacturer. I'm I'm not. Just not seeing the Master Chief in this list. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Just give me a Spartan. How about Fred? Uh, any we, Spartan we will do. Can't, is, that, is that the Sergeant Pepper's outfit? Uh, yeah, if we can't get the genuine article, at least get one of the other Spartans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, weird. Um, at some point, just like I don't know, what if Marcus Phoenix drove a car? You know, like like why why stop? I mean, there's no, like, story mode as such, right? No. Or career mode. I mean, in the sense that it tries to tell any kind of story whatsoever. Right, no, no. It's, it's not like, you're, you're an up-and-comer. You know, it's just, you're, you're kind of just generic, created race person. Maybe they need something like that. I don't know. Like, they I mean, need Horizon has had more of a story. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, just, I think, I'm, like, sports game story modes have been pretty cool. Like, I, I think there's a few ways you could go. You could, you could like, retell... A series of races from the past, yeah, you know, with a yeah. real life racer in there or tell, they, telling their story. I guess they have to go out and sign a bunch of deals with the yeah, drivers yeah. at that point. Yeah, at that point, for uh, sure. But like, I, mainly, I just like, I think it was, I think it was, was it this year's Madden that we came out of? And I just kept seeing people go like, "Hey, that Madden story mode is way better than it should be." Yeah, yeah, and uh, and you know, and, basketballs and, had a NBA like, has had a yeah, story NBA mode for, for like, a little bit, two or three years. People, yeah, and, and like, they, it seems like they keep turning out to be like surprisingly good. Yeah, I think there's room to do something like that, whether it's uh, an invented thing or, or not. And, yeah. But that's that's kind of horizon territory. Yeah, I like guess motorsport so. is a little more sure, like it's, it's pretty dry. And it's interesting because they, you know, the, the initial pitches for Forza Motorsport when they got out there and talked about it was like, we love the cars. We're here to express the passion of cars and be and be alive and a lively thing. And I feel like over the years, it's just and in, in in part because Horizon is so much more lively. Like motorsport just seems flat. Yeah. By comparison, you know, it's just like here's a list of tracks, cars. I, I don't know how you solve that problem because yeah. the at least they have a progression here, I guess. Because before, when it's just like here it is, it's a sandbox for cars. Like then it's a little aimless at that point. What am I working towards? So I I, I don't know what the balance is. I it's I'm, I'm not here to, to I, I can't solve that problem. I'm not smart enough. 
But I feel like they've done better in the past mm. at splitting the difference between the two yeah. than they are here. Oh, yeah. um, all right, so let's buy a crate here before we before we go. Sure. This one's a time limited one here. For next 22 days, large mystery crate will be available. So let's try this thing. Spend most of my money on it. It's green. Two good corners, three uses. Couple, couple Two blues. perfect corners, three uses. The Mexico suit. Wait a minute. And a car. Blues are rare, purples are legendary. Come on. Well, they got their turns. What are all, you going to do? You know? All mixed up. I got a car. That's, that's probably good. Yeah. I guess. Uh, can you... Well, first of all, can you pick tracks at all? Uh, yeah. And second I mean, of all, can you like do one more race or at least start one? Yeah, absolutely. We, I just, we can go into free play here and... Or only, and let me look at what tracks we got here. When I, when I saw this, we went to that Xbox event a few weeks ago. They were showing the... Uh, it was that one. It was the Dubai track. Mm -hmm. And it looks insane. Like, completely ridiculous. I just want to see what else was here. Yeah, so they've got environments and then tracks for the environment. And some of these, you know, it'll, these will be like, oh, here's the short circuit, here's the national, here's the full. Uh, depending on if, if, they, if they want to have a full race or a short one. Maybe maybe just do Dubai, do Dubai, then, if nothing else. Because uh, something that's not just, like, asphalt and grass. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, if Unless there's something else of this nature that is a little more exotic uh, in here. Let's see what's on, on the list here. Daytona. Because, like, a lot of these are, are definitely just... Rand's Hatch. You know, like, track and landscaping. Mm -hmm. uh, those don't show quite as well. Sonoma Raceway. It's, it's right up. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm practically passing it most days. Watkins Glen, I've heard of that. Yeah, let's do, but do a Dubai. That's what I'd right. say. All right. Let's not do the full circuit. Well, I mean, the full circuit will give us... Yeah, just to kind of look at the... Some variety. I just so. want to look at the rocks a little bit. Okay. That's it. Uh, you want to do... Oh, gets wait. Us there. Oh, I guess I haven't... I guess I guess day is the only thing, the only option here. Huh. Okay. What, uh, most, do most tracks let you change all that? Oh, like uh, the, if I push left and right, nothing changes. No, no, but I'm saying do most other tracks... I assume so. Oh, well, you haven't tried Maybe Dubai doesn't, or maybe... Yeah, if I was wondering if it has Choose something. the specific scenario. If rain is available... The advanced rules section will allow for specific changes when rain falls. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I was wondering if they limit that stuff on specific tracks or not. That's weird. Let's just do a, a circuit race. Goodbye. Full circuit. Two laps. 23 is the maximum number of drivatars. And uh, car division, any. Uh, advanced rules, whatever. Yeah, okay, sure. Limit drive a tar aggression. Off. <laughs> Unshackle your drive That's right. It's going to hack my system. That's, yes, that's, that's start how. Start sending emails. That's how we get AI taking over society. Um, so here in free mode... Uh, it still presents me with the uh, the uh, the cars that I have already unlocked. You can rent a selection of cars uh, if you like, and and you know you won't gain XP for driving these cars because you don't own them. Yeah. Mm. Let's try a Formula E car and see. I mean, I'll probably be bad at driving it because I'm, I would, you know, I'm going from the low class cars of store of the, of the career right now. So let's uh, try that one. Open so, wheel. I want to hear how a Formula E car sounds. What's the E stand? Electric. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. All right. I didn't uh, know they were doing that. That's interesting. Yeah, this is the thing where like. Formula E races are the thing where fans on Twitter can give cars a boost. Oh, uh, what? Mario Kart style. That's so dumb. Uh, it's kind of amazing. I mean, that is that is amazing, but like it... And they have DJs. It seems weird. so yeah. unlike them because people seem to take open wheel racing so seriously. I think they... That seems I, like the opposite of that. I think I think they probably need an opposite of that yeah, because I guess the only so, people that like open wheel racing are crazy people. I was going to say old, but yeah, I, I don't know. 
It's, it's, it's open wheel racing for the kids. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, and they're what all, do I know of professional motorsports? Very little, as it turns out. I think the cars themselves are all electric, or yeah, is that the referring idea. to some subsystem? No, no gas. Yeah. Did I see? I feel like I, I didn't actually read the headline. I thought I saw that GM just committed to like a, an all electric or no no combustible fuel future, huh? Publicly, like they're working toward an like an like a 100% electric lineup. Cool. Yep. Farther. Faster than the ones I'm used to. But that's the, the, the benefit of the assistance and stuff like that is, you know, I could turn on more of the assists and and rein it in if I if I wanted to. If, if I'd rather not learn how to just be better in faster cars and lighter cars and that sort of stuff. Ultimately, it really is just follow the racing one and hope for the best. Um, yeah, that's a good looking track. Yeah, it, it's a just a great looking game, and, and yeah, I don't know. Some of it, like I, I recognize, is like, hey, th there's a whole lot here, a lot of tracks, a lot of variants of tracks, and and a ton of cars. Um, but I feel like I'm just I'm I'm looking for something more dramatic at this yeah. point, uh, from or I or. I need something. If, if I'm going to stay into Forza, I need something more dramatic. Yeah. Um, because it, it's just a little too similar to the game they put out two years ago. How about confetti? I mean, is that going to do it? The games will always look nicer. <laughs> you know? They will always find new fun things like confetti and cool particle effects and awesome fucking car models and all this stuff, right? It's. it's and, and that goes a long way. How about a helicopter? How about a helicopter? Where the helicopter go? Um, but I, yeah, I, I'm just, uh, it's not, I, I am deriving no excitement from this game. Mm. Uh, and, and I, some of that is because of what Horizon has done. And it's like, okay, th these are the fun Forza games. The other ones, that's your old man's Forza. <laughs> it's your father's Forza. Yeah, uh, and... And, uh, you know, my personal interest in racing games is, is not in, not necessarily in authentic representations of proper motorsport. Right. So, naturally, as they continue to go further in that direction, I guess I'm going to lose interest. They've made seven Forza games now. They have. In not a very long span of time. Oh, yeah. They banged out uh, seven motorsports and three Horizons. It's yeah. ten games. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder what it would take to, or will take, to disrupt the cycle, to either spread out the time between Forza releases, or just like I, I, totally I, upend the like what the offering is. I, I don't know. I, I look at it as like you know, if you think about the things they're doing in those two years, and you think about like Forza Motorsport Six Apex that came to PC, and now, like now they're releasing the, these games on the PC, uh, so they've you know they're moving to a whole different tier of just technical power. Sure. Uh, behind these games, the Xbox One X will will help with that as well on consoles. Um, like I feel like they're they're probably biting off a lot, yeah, in two years. But but I think they're getting a lot done too, just not in the areas that are gonna make me want to spend another thirty hours on a on a Forza Motorsport, game. right? Yes, and that's you know that's neither here nor there. They don't need to make the games for me, sure. But coming to you as someone who has played a whole lot of these games over the years I sure wish that this game was more exciting mm. because it's beautiful and I would love to spend more time looking at it yeah. but I, I'm just not I'm just not having a great time mm. All right, it, it, I'm super bummed like I like I keep talking in circles over and over again about it because I'm just so fucking bummed about it yeah uh, I was really looking forward to uh, to this game and, and I'm just playing and going like yeah, it's, you know, like, I think the, the stuff they did outside of the racing is kind of gross or, or, or not not a great way to go. But even if I'm trying to put that aside and just focus on the racing, like, it's just, I don't know. Yeah. I could, I could turn off the racing line and throw myself into the deep end, but at some point, that's not much fun either. 
Uh, I always found my my sweet spot was somewhere in the middle, like a little bit more a little bit more difficult than this. Like I would start about here, then turn off part of the racing line and, and turn off a couple more assists and, as, as I got more comfortable with the game. And I just don't think I'm going to go through that process this time around. I just I don't know that I'm, I don't know that I have it in me to spend that kind of time on this. Yeah. Well, at least the rocks are pretty. It, they're, they're gorgeous, Brad. <laughs> Look at these rocks. Perhaps the best looking rocks ever. Find me better rocks. I can't. 